let's talk about deliverance i don't think people understand and there's like a whole bunch of videos on what i'm about to tell you anyways but deliverance you guys is a whole lifestyle just like when the doctor diagnoses somebody with like a cold or a disease a sickness um what else got cancer right and there's somewhere they can give you medicine and then there's stuff with like oh high blood pressure or diabetes and now they're telling you you need to go ahead and like cut this out your diet right you need a whole new life plan a whole new lifestyle and that looks like to some cutting out sugar that looks like cutting out a lot of salt that looks like maybe cutting out caffeine or whatever right and deliverance is the same way just like people go on detox for the body right they might do just a bunch of smoothies or drink like celery juice or something um people do all these different types of detoxing right for their body and it's usually Food or something deliverance is the same it's a detox but then also maintaining what you've just gotten rid of all the toxins and the chemicals it's all the same and it's not just what you put in your mouth it's also what are you letting come through the eye gate and the ear gate what is your body consuming right like people go on a social media fast they do all these things but what about what you spend majority of your time doing who do you listen to who's talking in your ear all the time what type of music are you listening to what movies and television series are you watching because all of that is a part of deliverance because whether we want to believe everything is spiritual or not everything is the music you listen to it's spirits so that's why you can go into a club right and you could have been just happy before you got there all of a sudden you're drinking right all of a sudden they have these this song playing and it's talking about beating people up it, it's talking about you know like wanting to fight or or, or act like a mm -mm -mm, and i ain't gonna say them words but anyways and it's because you're being influenced it's the music if they were playing a whole different song you would not be acting like that people wouldn't be trying to shoot up the club and kill somebody and find their enemies or leave the club and then want to go shoot somebody or listen to a song on the way to the club to get hype just in case you see your enemy right it's all about who is hyping you up who is constantly in your ear? What are you constantly seeing? Because spirits are attached. That's why you can listen to a sad song and all of a sudden you're sad when you were just fine. Now all of a sudden you're sad. Now all of a sudden you're missing this person who you know you ain't got no business even talking to because the spirit of sadness just attached itself to you. The spirit of depression just attached itself to you because you got into a vulnerable state and now you're listening to this song and then you're meditating. If you have the song on repeat, I don't know about y'all, but I love the repeat and I will play a song out. And so the thing is, what is conducting your mind? What is orchestrating your thoughts? What and who are you spending your time around? Just like you would cut out sugar and all these other things, you need to do the same with your surroundings. If you are being detoxed, what you put back in your body matters because you're starting back at ground zero. Meaning if you have nothing good in your body, now you're listening to cussing music, guess what? Your insides are going to be trash. <laughs> So let's do better of taking care of ourselves physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally, and financially. Let's be wise about who is leading our day and who we give that type of power and control to. So guess what? If you are going to do a detox, you should read your Bible. If you're going to fast, you shouldn't just be doing a worldly fast because you're inviting in things and spirits whether you know it or not so it's good 
it's really good to read your bible it's really good to just listen to worship music and let god create your atmosphere and take over your atmosphere and your body because matthew chapter 12 i believe like 43 through 45 quote me don't quote me go read it right but what it says is it talks about like when you clean a house out the spear goes into a dry place and what it does is it roams and it looks around right and if you don't fill your body up meaning with the holy spirit meaning with the word of god meaning everything god right what happens in that same spirit that you kicked out, the spirit of anger, the spirit of oppression, whatever you're carrying, what it does is it goes and it gets other higher ranking demons and then they all come and have a party. So now you might be really getting mad and it's like zero to a hundred real quick when before you might've just been like zero to 25, right? Now it's not even going to be easier to get those spirits out, right? Especially if you are a weakling in the spiritual realm and don't know your authority, you ain't got no authority, you telling these demons what to do and then like Sebus, they beat you up, right? And now you're bloody and you're running and you're naked, right? We don't need those problems. So build up your spiritual muscle spend time reading and praying and learning the word of God and also becoming the word of God actually living out the lifestyle you know what I'm saying so deliverance is a lifestyle it, you don't get to just go to a gym and work out one two times maybe for a month or two months or a year and then sit down and be lazy no guess what all those muscles are going to turn into fat that's what's going to happen. You got to keep it up. You got to continue to eat the right things. You got to continue to work it out. Just like the Bible says, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Guess what? You got to work out your salvation for real, your deliverance. Isn't that salvation? So anyways, y'all, I just want to throw that out there real fast because I don't think people get that like it's a lifestyle like living in righteousness and holiness and sanctification and remaining pure like that is a whole lifestyle it would be nice if it was one and done right but it ain't all right that's all I wanted to tell you guys I send you guys shalom shalom peace love joy thanksgiving um the peace of the lord the excitement of the lord i pray for happiness over your life you guys pure happiness i'm all for pure happiness god so do it lord do it okay you guys be blessed bye i'm out